Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about some of the significant techniques and experiments which are quite often utilized in genetic engineering and biotech lab. So let's begin the session. And before starting the session, I would request the new viewer to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your biological endeavor. So let's get started. The number one experiments and technique which you often required is molecular cloning. Molecular cloning involves isolating a specific gene of interest and inserting it into a plasmid vector which is basically then introduced into the host cell, often bacteria or the chosen organism based on your preference. This technique allows for the mass production of specific gene, enabling researchers and scientists to study gene function and to produce protein for therapeutic and other applications. This process typically includes DNA extraction, restriction enzyme digestion to cut the DNA at specific site, and subsequently ligation where the target gene is inserted into a plasmid. The transformed bacteria can then be selected based on antibiotic resistant enzyme screening, PCR and sequencing etc. The another significant experiment and technique is CRISPR-Cas technology. This is a significant genome editing tool that allows for precise modification to DNA. It is a highly efficient and cost effective compared to the earlier method. This enabling targeted gene editing with minimum of target effect. The system uses guided RNA to direct the Cas9 nuclease to a specific DNA sequence where it creates a double standard break. This break can then be repaired by inserting a new genetic material or disrupting the target gene. Moving ahead, the third one is gene targeting via homologous recombination. This technique modifies gene at specific location in the genome using homologous recombination. This allows for precise modifications such as knocking out the gene or inserting new sequences without random integration. Researcher and scientists design a DNA template that matches the target sequences flanked by the results of homology. When introduced into the cell, the template integrates into the genome through the natural repair mechanism. The another significant technique is transgenic technology. Transgenic technology involves introducing a foreign genes into an organism genome to create genetically modified organism. This method is widely used in agriculture to develop crops with desirable traits such as pest resistance and improved nutrition content. The common method include agrobacteria mediated transformation for plant and microinjection for animal. The inserted gene can be expressed alongside the organism native gene. The next one is zinc finger nuclease. Zinc finger nucleases are engineered protein that can create double standard break at the specific DNA site. They provide a mechanism for targeted gene editing similar to CRISPR but with the different desired requirement. Zinc finger nucleases consist of zinc finger domain that bind to specific DNA sequences coupled with the nuclease domain that cut the DNA. This allows for precise modification through repair processes. Similar to that, next one is talent, that is transcription activator like effector nucleases. Talents are another class of engineer nucleases used for targeted genome editing. They offer high specificity and can be designed to target virtually any DNA sequences. Talent works similarly to zinc finger nucleases but uses transcription activator like effector to recognize the DNA sequences. This specificity minimizes the off-target effect during the editing. The another common one is PCR. PCR is a technique used to amplify the specific DNA sequences. It enables researchers and scientists to generate large quantities of DNA from small samples, thus facilitating further analysis or manipulation. PCR usually involves repeated cycle of denaturation, ending, and extension using specific primer that flank the targeted sequences. The result is exponential amplification of the desired DNA fragment. Along with that, you also often require electroporation. Electroporation introduces DNA into cell by applying an electric field that increases the cell membrane permeability. It is effective for transforming both bacteria and eukaryotic cell with plasmid DNA. The electric pulse create a temporary pore in the cell membrane through which the DNA can enter. 
Afterward, the membrane repair itself, allowing the DNA to integrate or exist extra chromosomally. Another significant one is gene gun, which is ballistic. Ballistic uses high velocity micro projectile coated with DNA to deliver genetic material into cell. This method is particularly useful for transforming plant cells that are otherwise difficult to transmit using conventional method. The gold and the tungsten particle are propelled into the plant tissue where they penetrate the cell wall and membrane and thereby delivering the genetic material directly into the cell. And lastly, RNAi, which is RNA interference. RNA interference is a biological process where RNA molecule inhibit gene expression or translation. This provides a powerful tool for silencing specific gene without altering the underlying DNA sequence. Small interfering RNAs are introduced into cells where they bind complementary mRNA sequences and promote their degradation, thus effectively reducing the protein production from those G. Join our training program and project in Biotech and BioIT. If you want to host a hands-on experience with these cutting-edge techniques at your university and institute, you can contact our team. Thus, you can contribute to the groundbreaking research in the biotechnology. Whether you are a student or a professional looking to enhance your skill, our courses and the workshop offer valuable insight and practical application in this particular field. I hope you have liked this session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor. See you in the next one. Thank you.